Rap City in the streets in the hood of Yonkers right here, D Block. Talking about the early beginnings, so how'd y'all actually get discovered? Because before it D Block used to box before the early warlocks. Warlocks. Before that was Bomb Squad. Before that Bomb Squad. So at what point did you guys really get to, to the you know time where like labels are starting to look well, at we you and all that? We was working and hustling and doing everything. And um we was in the studio spending our own money. <coughs> Pardon me, once we got once the songs was good enough, we felt they was good enough to go elsewhere besides in the town. Once we felt they was big enough songs, we gave them to one of our homies that went to school with us, which is Mary J. Blige's first cousin, our homeboy J. Bop, Jamarco. Then after that, it was pretty much history. I think Mary was on tour with Puff. They was on the Jodeci tour. They popped a demo and on the tour bus, and the rest is history. How did it feel for you guys at the time where, like, you know, Bad Boy, who was basically running the industry at the time, was like, yo, we was on course. Chicago Bulls, man. It was like being a part of the Chicago Bulls when Jordan was in his prime. Yeah, it was great. You know what I mean? It was Big great. Was Big was there, and we was coming from a town where we was putting our town on the map, so it was like a double bonus for us, you know what I'm saying? We came from a lot of struggling and striving, trying to make it to, to making it to the best team you could be from a place where nobody really know about. He gave this whole town encouragement. You know what I mean? He gave it, he gave it, cause this is a town with a black cloud. He made it a little bit sunny for a minute. What was it like you got the first time you met there? Frank. Love. He was a good dude, like it was like, he was real open arms. Real humble open arms, heard us and was like, yo, y'all nice. You know what I mean? So I was like, damn. He was you know, told us he was glad we was down yeah, with him. You know. During the time of, of, of big, uh, untimely and unfortunate demise, you guys got kind of caught up in the what, what the struggle of Bad Boy was and how do you proceed without Big being there. So what was the climate of Bad Boy like at the time? And for you guys? We were still holding it, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? We was like the only street credibility on Bad Boy. So yeah, it got real shiny, but um, it was good, like, we learned a lot of stuff from Puff Daddy from being on Bad Boy. You got great work, you know, we, 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 we wish we would have learned a little bit more as far as the business, but you know, you learn from experience. That's what LOX is all about. Please believe it. Right now, we're in Yonkers. Your boy Mad Lane, Steve Lott, back in the middle. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I, give, I probably had the worst time. I just, the chemistry just wasn't right. And we, um, I mean, that, even before, like, right before Big Dog, I could say we started having We was a becoming an oddball. A little trouble because. We was becoming a short thumb. Like, we was sticking out. Yeah, like, we, we wasn't, out a lot. We wasn't blending in right. Like, we would always find ourselves in a separate to corner the side, or like, somewhere. To the side doing what we do. It was like, you know, the, the camera, it's like when you're hanging with somebody, you really shouldn't be hanging with we felt like. You know, you into that and we into this, like. You in the shine and we into holding on the hood. I like, sure it was like two different died. things at the time. If Big Not died, you think it would have been different? We be doing this interview from my yeah. phantom right now. Cause right before, right before he knew we had a little problem, he was like, you know, worked Big out. We worked it out. Don't Big school us on everything. What was going to happen, yeah, he let us know how Puff anything. was, what was good about him, what was bad about him, how the game was. Big was like the standard. Standing for realness, like he let us up, know man. everything. That's why I heard so much when he was when he that he ain't here right now. So it stands now. You guys are completely from underneath the bad boy umbrella. Yeah, completely. I mean, there's yeah. no nothing tying you guys to Puff Boy that company any longer. Correct? Now we got a little a little deal worked out, but it was, it was a great deal for us. You okay. know what I mean? He was more than fair. Thank you too, Diddy. Good looking out, that was real. You see Diddy out there? Appreciate Make sure you give him a hug. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's a damn good guy. Rap City, Boy Mad Links. And I'm uh, popping it off right now. D Block, so where okay. we at right now? We down, we down at Southern Park. That's where they do the Black Heritage Day and all that. Nah, they switched it, they switched it. They switched our people to Chicken Island now. That's where they used to do it, but this where like we yes, this where I learned how to play ball at. This where I got my first start on, on West Side Cobras, you know, over here. Then we took it to the big court, played football over there, water fountain, just come down here, chill with the girls in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? In the nighttime. This is just the essence right here, Trevor Park. 
The mixtape game is very serious with you guys. You guys are one of the, the premier crews when it comes to dropping the mixtape series out here in New York. Um, talk to me about that. I mean, it's kept y'all very relevant. I mean, that, with being on, coming up, being on Bad Boy, we were sort of on the back burner. You know, waiting our chance to do the commercial or do the big thing. So all we had was clues and whoever was the mixtape. That was our way to free our... That was our way to express ourselves. And we just kept it going, you know what I'm saying? The people love us for that. It's like a whole different world out there. You got the white corporate America, whoever's selling the most. And then you got diehard underground people that that the fans love you for, you know, mixtapes. They come out more than an album. They come out every couple of weeks, every week. Yeah, it's just for the love of the art. Like, there's no politics. It's just who can really spit, you know, just, you know. We the best at that. We just give them what they want. Yeah. Is it really like a real like Yeah, a, nah, 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 nah. It's not it's not a real beef at all. Not even nothing. You know. So how'd you feel when you first heard like, you know, like it was a support? Nah, I felt kinda it felt kinda funny. <laughs> you know, why why is he picking on us? Or even, why didn't he even choose this door to walk through? But, you know, it's hip hop. It's competitive. We've been battling since Brucey B and them. You know, even though it's a different scale of battling now, it's more money involved, it's more record sales, it's, it's bigger now. So, you know, it's all good though. As long as you keep it non violent, keep it on wax, it's good. He actually sold a lot of records off the whole thing. And that's what, that's what his aim was to do. And he did it, so you know, you gotta commend him on that. If you follow his career, Get Rich or Die Trying was very successful, it was a classic album, but the whole movement around it was the discrepancy with Ja. And that's what, that's what his thing was. That's still his thing, you know what I'm saying? So when it was time to drop The Massacre or whatever his next album was, he had no outlet of none of that. So he was probably nervous that how the people gonna accept me just dropping the second album when they already know I'm like a troublemaker. I, this is what I do. Yeah, they, you know, I'm I'm supposed to be this. So you know, and over tired. Nas was quiet at the time. Who else better than you know? Try to make your mark on the God MC, <laughs> he block. You know what I'm saying? That 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 would give you some strikes if you could take us down. So now, current state of the guys. But, the white flag has already been waved. Yeah, Record sales people, don't make people, you the people. best. And people, and the fans know that. Like, you know, not necessarily because you on the top of the billboard doesn't make you the best rapper or the best lyricist. And, you know. Yeah, rap what it is. Rap City, you heard? Rap City, Mad Link. I here with D-Block. Checking it, chopping it up, find out what's really going on. So let's talk about like you know business ventures and what's coming next for, for D Block. Oh, um, we got we got a host of things. You know, I got a little TV thing coming up, project mini series that I'm working on. Um, I got a cigar that's out right now, Bada Bing cigars <laughs> for social socialized smoking like we like to do for our people. Right. Um, you know we got Jay Hood, Tales from the Hood album coming out. We got Time is Money, Styles P, second solo album on deck. We got a Locks album in the shelves, but that ain't on the shelves that we working on quietly. Got a book. We got a book. Yeah, we got a book that we working on. You got a D-Block DVD. D-Block DVD. We got a D-Block compilation, no security. We got a crap load of new artists. Busy this summer. Myself. Yeah. Yeah. Very busy. We ain't playing. I don't want to take some bench truck with the stocks on them. I don't want to be for the key rip and let it pop on them. Dump him in the river with the sea man drops on him. Throw him in the time. I swear to God he had a watch on him. I guess that'll make him the dumb. You can say if the gun gun come fast. Dog uh, might be the hawk, but I'ma cut his lips off and fire on life when he talk. Whatever the Bentley cost, I paid the price in the court yearly. Life's a still love it dearly. Let my talk be dumb, don't hear me. 
If it's on in the tech, gon' rattle No sleep, more beef than the Texas cattle Roll up with the prince of the streets We 55 deep and everybody got heat Let them ring like phones Always bring that chrome Never slipping cause I never leave that home Got the streets on smash Hoes on lock When they know you got guap You can hit them with the Drop top Cruising through the hood Couple TVs Got the leathers in the wood Two in the trunk Speakers on bump A full act up I'ma hit them with the pump Leave it from No legend, no hey yeah. Never ever play with a gangsta bread Pop that Smack up Treat them like a sandwich Wrap it Extra clips and I got that perk If you got that guap, we can make it work Where you from? Let me see your sex Pop your head till you break your neck We on the grind all day Get money in the hallway Yacked up, strapped up Plus all my shooters is blacked up So backed up when the gap buckle You stupid don't get clapped up